Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video because I just got my first reading library set. It's 50 books. Um, first thing I noticed, these are paperback books. I had seen the video for um, um, just this set. I think it's um, comes with slightly less books, but it is a um, hardback. So if that's something you're interested in, maybe um, start with that set and then move to this one. I'm not sure how, what your preference is, but that's just something I noticed. Um, as soon as it arrived, I tried one of the books with my five-year-old. She loved it, loved it, loved it. I love it, it's perfect. Um, so this is Double Trouble. You can see that this is a dual reader. Parent reads this part, and the child reads these parts. Um, the pictures are great. Part of the story really is in the picture, so it kind of really helps. Um, it's just kind of like looking at the page. I really liked this page. No, not this one. Where the parent reads this, and here you can sort of ask your child, you know, what do you think? You know, what are they thinking about? It has a lot of comprehension type thoughts, even when your child is reading at this level, you can still kind of, what do you think is gonna happen? You know, you have like all these questions that you like, especially this page and this page where, as you can see, um, I noticed this and it's very smart. Um, these pages as well as this page that has no part for your child to read, instead has a discussion for your child. Um, here it's asking, uh, we already discussed it, like the elephants are having various ideas to solve their problem. And over here it's kind of like a guessing part of what, what do you foresee that's going to happen in the story. Um, this is some uh, kind of a critical point in the story. And um, I really like that, that there are pages not just for your child to practice reading, but also to practice comprehension. So that's really, really cool, really, really smart. The other thing that the books have that I think is amazing is um, these parts where it has some of the words that are in the book that will, I mean, my, my child is just starting to learn to read, so all the words are new to her. So as you can see, these are all very um, phonics-based words, simple. Um, you could even split them up in word families you have add 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 ip 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 um and it has um some puzzles my daughter really enjoyed this one where you just retell the story you talk about what happened um i haven't tried this one with her i think she might enjoy this one as well where you um, choose the right words for each picture where you kind of try to remember what happened in each page so very, very nice, very simple. Um, that's how we haven't read any of the other stories because my daughter loved that first one so much. We just kept working with that one. I suspect we will continue working it before we move on to a different one. But let's see. I'm going to take a book out from each section so we can sort of see how it, they progress. So this is still from the green part, which is the first part. And by this time, your child will be reading the entire story. So they're not all made that way. I think the last one where it's a dual reader, I believe is the number seven. Nope, these ones, oh yeah, these ones still have a dual reader where this part is for the parent and these ones are for the child. As you can see, the child is starting to read a lot more taking over the book. Some pages don't have um I noticed that one particular, see this page, these pages don't have a parent section. It's just your child reading. So that's very cool. That was number seven. Let's look at maybe number 10 here. Or this would be your child reading the whole way through. Obviously a lot more difficulty there, but we will get there. And the really cool thing is that you have all these books to get you there. So here we go. 
This is number four. Still a dual reader, as you can see. And um, let me see what the back looks like. Guidance notes. I guess this one doesn't have all the words in the back, but it's all pretty cool. Now I'm just looking through all of them. So, very nice. Make all these work exercises in the back. Very cool. Alright, so that is my first reading library. I will be using these um, for my child to teach her how to read. And so far, she loves books one, so I really hope that she continues enjoying the whole series and it's something fun for her because we're doing it together and I think that's the most important thing. Alright, this is Lily. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you want to order this set, just check the link and um, you know, make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying my little homeschooling who's born videos. Peace.